Hello and welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Bailey Barnes. Today I'm with Todd Blake from Live For Today. Todd, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Great. So tell me, um, what's the mission? What is Live For Today? So Live For Today Foundation is an organization that I co-founded with two other young adults uh, here from Jacksonville uh, that serves young adult cancer patients and survivors ages 18 to 35. Um, so we have a couple of programs to do mm -hmm. that, one of which is a, a wish granting program which we call our life adventures. Um, so we've sent patients on surf trips to Costa Rica, we've done spa weekends, we've done cruises, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, one of our other big programs is to provide support. So mm -hmm. we do that through one-on-one -on -one support, whether that's in the hospital or taking somebody out to lunch or coffee. Uh, and the other thing that we do is we do these group support events every month. So how big um, is your organization? How many people do you um, reach out to and help? Now we serve a little over 100 local young adult cancer patients and survivors ages 18 to 35, mm -hmm. um, of which I would say about 65% are survivors, so patients that are finished with their treatment. That includes childhood survivors, those from like Nemours or Wolfson's that were treated as children. Um, and the other 35 to 40% is probably made up of patients that are currently young adults undergoing treatment um, at one of the you know, various healthcare centers around town. Um, and then so how exactly did like the whole idea come about? Um, like how, how did you get to that point of, oh, I want to start this organization? Yeah. What um, I personally was diagnosed with cancer mm -hmm. at age 18. Uh, I had just started college and I was about a month and a half in when I just started getting some weird symptoms, found a lump on my neck, and next thing I know I was diagnosed with cancer. Um, so over the next six and a half years, I had a really long um, battle with cancer, which I'm glad to say I'm doing well now. That's awesome. um, but along the way, was just searching for meaning um, mm -hmm. personally, as well as encountered a really large lack of support for young adults with cancer. And um, so I actually got together with two other young women um, from here in town that were both cancer survivors. We met at a, a Relay for Life event. Mm -hmm. And we decided to co-found this organization for young adults with cancer to try to provide support for those that just didn't have it elsewhere. So how long have you been around? Uh, Live for Today, we, we founded in August of 2012, mm -hmm. and we really got started um, April of 2013 at the first One Spark. That was kind of our launch. We actually uh, came in ninth. Oh, uh, wow. We didn't get a lot of publicity. They didn't have a nonprofit category that mm -hmm. year, but um, we, we were pretty proud of um, our turnout. And then um, some of the other programs that you guys have, um, what else do you guys do together? Uh, what are events do you have coming up? Yeah, so for our young adult um, patients and survivors, every four to six weeks we try to do um, a group support activity. So mm -hmm. one of the ones that we have coming up is um, this interactive laser tag activity that should be a lot of That's fun. Uh, yeah. We also are going to be having a men's uh, event at the Audubon Indoor um, Raceway, so that'll be a fun event. Um, Beyond that, we usually do dinners. Sometimes we do um, healthy living focused activities. Mm -hmm. So we've done like yoga events, things like that oh, wow. in the past. Um, so we really just try to get this organic support group together. So it's young adults that have been diagnosed with cancer or survived cancer, but it's not like a forced support group where you have to talk about cancer. A lot of times what we do is just something for fun to get these people together to, to know they're around people that know what they're to going through. To live in through. the moment, live for today. Exactly. Yeah. Um, do you guys partner with anybody in the community then? Um, like, cause you said that you do yoga, things like that. Do you partner with different um, companies or? We do. One of the, the big things that we try to do is partner with companies around town mm -hmm. to provide discounted or donated services. So that's something that we're always looking for. We've worked in the past specifically in yoga with Big Fish Yoga out at the oh, beach. Cool. They've been a really good partner, um, f both fundraising for us as well as providing um, free yoga for our cancer patients. So that's been really great. Um, but we are always on the lookout for what is a, a cool and unique opportunity that we can send patients to. We've done Jaguars games, Armada games. Mm -hmm. um, we've partnered with a lot of local organizations to, to make these fun experiences happen. Great. And then if someone wanted to get involved um, and like help you guys volunteer, how would they do that? What kind of um, volunteer opportunities do you guys have? So we currently have several volunteer opportunities. We're a 100% volunteer-based organization. So we're always looking for dedicated volunteers that can maybe commit two to three to maybe even five hours a week mm -hmm. um, in areas like marketing, communications, social media, uh, accounting and bookkeeping. Uh, we have opportunities all over the place. So really, I think the main thing would just be that they're passionate about helping people and specifically mm -hmm. about helping young adults with cancer. Do you have any um, big plans for the future? 
We do. We would love to take our concept um, outside of Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. We've really spent the first couple of years kind of honing what we've created and, and trying to create this wonderful support group that we want to take to other markets. I think that there's just such a lack of um, support for young adult cancer patients nationwide that we'd really hope to be able to, to serve those people. Definitely. Um, so if someone wanted to get involved, how would they contact you? Um, website or? Yeah, our mm -hmm. website is um, live-for-today.org. Uh, we would love for people to go on there and check out what we're about. Uh, they could also contact us um, through our social media. We're very active on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I think those would probably be the best ways to reach out. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, thank you for having Alrighty. us. We appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching at home. We'll see you next time on The Buzz.